Shiver me timbers, me upside down marshmallow buccaneers. It's Friday story time with your pirate pants, magical scallywag, pirate emmer. Have you have been having lots of fun this week on our surprise week? And you know what? Congratulations to all those guys that have joined in and won prizes for free. How crazy. I love it. So today we are having pirate buccaneer day. Arr, and we are reading Captain Flynn and the pirate dinosaurs and the magic cutlass. Do you know what a magic cutlass is? Is it a type of meat to eat? No. Is it a toothbrush? No. Is it a... Oh, you are correct. It's a sword. Well done. Shiver me timbers. Give yourself a scallywag tickle on your nose. All right, let's begin this amazing book. And I think every time we turn the page, we should go, Arr. It was the day of Flynn's school play. Flynn was a pirate captain. Flynn loves pirates. And his friend Pearl, Tom and Violet were in his cruise. There they are. There's pirate... Flynn with the big black hat on, Tom, Violet and Pearl. Let's go. Arr. Go on, said Miss Pie, their teacher. It's your song now, young Flynnigan. I'm a pirate king with a pirate ship and an ugly pirate crew. Arr, began Flynn. There he is. There's Miss Pie. There's Flynn and the parents down below. When another voice boomed out. And if you don't all come with me, I'll eat you, the whole lot of you. <laughs> oh my goodness, he looks scary, whispered one of the parents. Do you think he's a new teacher or something? There he is, funny looking thing coming through the stage. The parents are there. Arr, let's go to the next page. The scary pirate with the booming voice was enormous. He had a big red coat, huge black boots, and a very scaly green legs. Oh, there he is. Can you see him? Doesn't look too scary to me, but boy, is Miss Pie in a fizzle, fuzzle, snizzle, snazzle. He grabbed Flynn and his friends and disappeared off the stage. No, 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 that wasn't meant to happen, shrieked Miss Pie. Come back, come back, but it was too late. Uh-oh, thought Flynn. Here we go again. The pirate threw a large blanket over Flynn and his friends and they felt themselves tumbling down, down, down through into the air until there they are in the blanket. There goes the pirate. Let's go to the next page. Until bump. <laughs> they landed right on the main deck of an old fashioned ship. When they looked around, they saw their horror that the pirates on this ship were not just ordinary pirates. <gasps> no, 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 they weren't ordinary pirates at all. They were snakes, elephants, koalas, perhaps. Oh, to the next page. Pirate dinosaurs. Oh my goodness. There was pirate dilopatrus. I can't say that properly. There was pirate Triceratops. There was pirate Stegosaurus. There was pirate Predecador. And there was pirate Tyrannosaurus Rex. <gasps> Scary. Captain T-Rex said Flynn, we meet again. Tie them up, yelled the T-Rex. But leave this one to me. How delicious. What a treat. Blood and bones and scallywag meat. Let's turn the page. Now, young Captain Flynn, roared the pirate T-Rex. Legend says there's a magic cutlass in a shipwreck deep under the sea, and I want it. Hmm. They, then why don't you just go and get it yourself, said Flynn. The great big T-Rex looked shifty because, um, uh, oh, I can't swim, he muttered. Well, don't think I'm going to go and get it for you, said Captain Flynn. Hmm. He's licking his lips and he's got a bottle of sauce in his hand. I wonder what he's up to. Oh, but I think you will, said the T-Rex, getting out his bottle of ketchup. Because I'm feeling hungry and your little friends over there are looking rather... Tasty, very tasty indeed. 
<sighs> okay, said Captain Flynn angrily. Then I guess you win. Ooh, it's getting very feisty. Arr, turn the page. So, Pirate T-Rex and his fearsome crew and Captain Flynn and his captured mates sailed to the sea along the magic sea. It was a long way before they reached the exact spot. Then Captain Flynn dived down, down, down under the deep, 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 deep sea. Oh, there was octopuses. He was dodging sharks until at last he found the cutlass. Just in there. <gasps> Let's go arr, to the next page, me hearties. <laughs> Aha! Shouted the T-Rex. The magic cutlass. It's mine. It's all mine. Now let's see. What does it do? Oh, he swung it hmm, around his head, but nothing happened. He splashed it through the air. Slash, slash, slash. As though fighting an invisible enemy. But again, nothing happened. There he is. Swing it. He danced a jig and looked very silly, but still nothing happened. <laughs> Bother blast and bellyache, roared T-Rex. This cutlass isn't magic at all. It's blunt, it's rusty, and it's useless. And he threw it away. Oh dear. Arr, let's go to the next page. Oh, oh Captain Flynn landed in his hand. The cutlass landed right beside Flynn and he quickly picked it up. Oh, I wish I could untie these ropes, he said. Then the cutlass began to glow <gasps> and suddenly the ropes around Pearl Tom and Violet fell away and his friends were free. Yes! Woohoo! Yeah! Woohoo! They were free. That's it, whispered Pirate Violet. That's the magic of the cutlass. It grants wishes. There they are, getting untwined. How magical. Let's go arr, to the next page. Arr. Captain Flynn and his friends tried to sneak away, but they were too late. The T-Rex had spotted them with his big, big dinosaur eyes. <laughs> Not so fast, he roared, snatching the cutlass back. I'm still hungry. Well, you're not going to eat us. You're a great big fat so, yelled Captain Flynn. Come on, gang, attack. He's very, very, very sassy, that Captain Flynn. He's not actually scared at all. They swung through the ropes and leapt from the rigging swords. Cutlass and daggers flew in every direction. Yo ho ho, ho ho ho. Come on, gang, bellowed the magical T-Rexes. <laughs> Crash, bash, smash. Dinosaurs, pirate dinosaurs, go, go, go. Arr. His fearsome crew replied, hmm, Arr, let's go to the next page. The pirate dinosaurs were brave, but Captain Flynn and his crew were even braver. And after a long struggle, they finally had all the pirate dinosaurs safely tied up. Rightio, matey, said Captain Flynn, marching the T-Rex to the side of the ship. Time to walk the plank. But, 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 I can't swim, shrieked the T-Rex. His knees began to knock. Oh, dear. And he looked down and saw the shark circling beneath him. Dum, 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 dum. Help, he yelled. Oh, I want, I want my mummy. Oh, 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 I wish my mummy was here. He sounds like a big, big, big Suki Lala. <laughs> Turn the page. Suddenly, there was a great big bang. Oh, who's this? He's got black hair and a dress on. A huge lady T Rex appeared. The cutlass had worked its magic. <gasps> Mummy! <laughs> it was his mum. She had a handbag too. <laughs> Let's go roar, next page. What do you think you're doing, bellowed Mummy T-Rex? What did I say about only picking on people your own size? And how many times have I told you never to play with swords? <laughs> I'm sorry, Mummy, said the T-Rex. 
What a naughty boy you have been, said his mummy. Now give that cutlass back to that little boy and play together nicely. The T-Rex grumpily handed the cutlass back to Captain Flynn. Quick gang, said Captain Flynn to his friends. Hold on to the cutlass and say along with me. I wish we could all go home. And then do you know what happened next? Let's go. <laughs> the cutlass began to glow and suddenly Captain Flynn, Pearl, Tom and Violet found themselves flying through the air until they landed with a big bump. <gasps> Back on the stage at school. Right, said Captain Flynn. Um, I'm sorry about that. Now, where was I? Oh, yes, yes, that's right. I'm a pirate king, pirate ship and an ugly pirate crew, began Flynn, when Miss Pie appeared. Where on earth have you been? She demanded. And what's that sword thing in your hand, Flynn? But Flynn didn't answer and he decided to use the magic cutlass and make one last wish. Miss Pie would probably never have believed him anyway. And actually, she did look rather good. They are on stage singing again. I wonder what he turned her into. Let's do our last roar. Roar! As a hippopotamus. Oh dear. Poor Miss Pie. That's the end of our story. That was awesome. Thanks for being magic pirates with me. Arr! And that was our Friday story time. So look out for our next clue for our last surprise for Friday surprise time. And thanks for joining me this week. It's been so much fun. See you later when your pirate legs and cutlasses are straighter. Ba 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 ba. Da la 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 la.